Time to record a new... Huh. Well, uh, you can't always believe signage. What? Oh my gosh, this is just getting ridiculous now. Of course we have some creative ideas. I told you why I didn't want to do the thing. Come on, just, just, come on. L let's start an intro. Hey, hey, hey! That's uncalled for. Alright, I guess since we have no intro, we'll just start the video. Mm. Hey, bugaboos. Today I want to talk about something that I've actually been thinking about for a while. It comes as no surprise that I like to write. I've been writing as long as I can remember. And when you're a big reader, writing almost comes as second nature. Everybody wants to write their own story. It's not to belittle another writer's writing experience, but it's really not a surprise when I hear a book lover tell me that they like to write. It's still the love of words. <laughs> So we're on the topic of writing and about that and I have to say I don't think I'm special because I'm a reader and a writer. I think that combo goes just hand in hand like that old PB and J. Reading and writing is just the normal combo you guys. I don't know what to say. This may give me a lot of flack because I don't think it's special if you like to read and write. I think that there can be stories that are special that you're writing. I think that there are things that can be special about you, but I don't think it's inherently special because you are a reader and you also write. I'm like every other wannabe novelist. Like, I have tons of novels that I have finished that will never, ever see the light of day. My current novel is about vampires, like, what is this, 2012? And yeah, I own probably way too many notebooks. Yes, these are just the notebooks that I have out in the open. They're not all the notebooks that are underneath my bed, that that, like, and most of them are falling apart. Like. Look at this, it is falling apart. I've had to tape not one side of it, but two sides of it. I have this one, which I'm super happy about. I got the school supplies. And look how shiny and like holographic it is. Oh. With all this talk about writing and with Pitch Wars coming up on Twitter on Monday, I thought that we could go over some old ideas that I had. This book is from 2000 intend to I think let's see the last entry was 2013 so we're gonna we're gonna take some ideas and we're gonna figure out what I would have pitched if I was um, using this idea book it is literally falling apart you guys look look at that it is falling apart both sides so my first idea in this idea book was to finish my book. Inventive. <laughs> oh, this is the creepiest horse I think I've ever seen. Um, I don't know what's going on here. Look at that. Oh, so fantastic. That will haunt your dreams. You guys, this is the probably the most quintessential 2010, I didn't know how to spell ever kind of writing. We've got a cat, we don't even have a capitalization in the sentence goes. The darkness surrounds me. I know not where I walk, whether Solid or darkness not like the actual weather, but the weather up in the sky. Okay, so let's look at the sentence here Just look at this whole sentence It's golden Oh my god, the pages are sticking that's how badly broken it is 
this, this is gonna get good guys okay so the book title is gonna be <laughs> so the book title is tied to Nathan you already know that it's gonna be gold 2010 gold right here <laughs> the idea is a high school fundraiser where you pay a dollar for a boy or a girl to get tied to the opposite gender for a whole day. Emmy is over her head with Nathan. And then I drew this beautiful picture of uh, a handcuff, I guess. Yup, that was beautiful artistry in the making because that whole idea would not be complete if it didn't have that picture in there. So sometimes I did also did weird things. So um, this one just says smiley, spelling is overrated, which because I'm dyslexic, I have problems with spelling, and so at the time I was just like embracing it, and I drew this. It's beautiful, right? So now we're into 2011, because when I got this, it was my birthday, and apparently I, even as my birthday's at the beginning of the year, apparently I just didn't write a lot, but here, 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 here's a good one. So, it says, I look at, but it has the at side there. The girl that's supposed to be my sister, I realize that even with my memories back, there is nothing about. That's the end of the sentence, period. There's nothing about. I don't know what was supposed to be there. We spent one year together before she and I think I meant to say mysteriously, but I wrote misery. So it's misery disappeared. How can I convince I girl, it literally says I girl, not a girl. I girl, I've never known to come home with me. Obviously in the past seven years, I've learned a thing or two about grammar. Uh, so. Hooray. I honestly don't even know what that idea was about. Um, I think I, for the longest time I had this whole idea about aliens and I, I still love aliens, but that was the story bit at the time. We're still in 2011. This one is called, it's just titled Plot, which I like the direct forwardness of it. It goes, Plot, two groups accidentally sent to another galaxy. See, here we are again with aliens. Each has a secret or a past. Oh okay. wait. Each has a secret past or at least one. I don't know what that means. Each has a secret past or one. Does that mean like they have a secret in their past or there's multiple secrets? I don't know what 15, 15 year old Chloe was thinking. The aliens there wish to help them, but they can't if they don't trust one of the girl. So apparently in this group there was a girl and they can't trust her. This was not an in-depth plot, I don't know, but I, when I wrote this down I was like, yes, this is it, plotting time. We got all really emo in this December 23rd, 2011 post with Lost in a Sea of Rage. That was just the idea. The idea was just being lost in a sea of rage, there you go. Prompt time, you guys, write about being lost in a sea of rage. Thanks to me. So as we're moving along, my handwriting has suddenly got better and the ideas are not as the worst. In here I have ideas for characters. Um, I was in, you know, like all classic people are, I was into deviant art, so I was creating my own character and this was like a rough draft that I had decided to put in this idea book of this character. I eventually murdered her off, so don't look for her. Don't, don't, don't look for her. Oh, so in my writing, I went through a phase where I loved to use acronyms. I don't know why. And so one of the acronyms that I, um, one of the acronyms I wanted to use was a stereotype. I wanted them to be stereotypes. Haha, -ha, clever, clever. And so I wrote out what the acronym means. So the acronym 
four stereotype was supernatural terrorists exploiting resources for extreme outbursts of tyrannical youth corruption and plotting evil. That was the organization, you guys. That was the organization. I used to do this thing where I used to sing all the time, but I had little ideas for songs, and um, I would put like little music notes near them so that I know like that this was gonna be a song. The thing is, most of these I didn't come back to, so I have no idea what the tune of this is supposed to be. What's with this strange new attraction? With this heinous crank, cr with this heinous crime. It's like a pacifist wanting to be a boxer. It's like a vegan at the slaughterhouse. Which is funny because I am now a, a vegan. So obviously I was having some issues. I, I was liking somebody and I was like, you cannot be liking this person. This is not okay. And I wrote it down as a song. I don't ever remember liking anybody. Ever. So maybe this was something that I blacked out in my memory. That's possible. So some of these ideas in here were just like ideas that I had like while at school that I wanted to insert into the story later. And yeah, I was the nerd that carried around a notebook in my backpack that was purely based for story ideas because we're cool like that. So here I'm going to read you one of these inserts. Sometimes our battles aren't simply overthrowing kings and battling a whole monarchy, he said. Oh, because it was that simple, she replied sarcastically. I don't know what that was supposed to be about, but apparently winning a war is just not enough for this girl. Here's another one, and this is like super dramatic, you guys. It's like, I don't want to know my past, because why would I want to know anybody who just left me for dead? Who does that? Leaves a five-year-old alone, bleeding to death. I'm glad I don't remember. So, I don't I don't ever remember writing a story like that. Um, I guess I had issues. Here's a beautiful idea. Live a life we're not going to regret, but we're also not going to forget. Oh, that is so early 2010s. So much. I can feel the inner white girl just screaming. There's a lot of golden ideas in here. Not really. A lot of the ideas in this book are actually about this alien series that I was that I was working on at the time. It's kind of cool. I eventually want to go back and revisit it. It will definitely have to change a lot in it. Um, it was a seven book series or something like that. Very YA, but there are some, some issues with it. And I definitely would have to go back and I probably wouldn't even use half of the ideas in here that I thought were so brilliant to don these pages. So now that I've thoroughly embarrassed my my whole self, my past self, my teeny baby, baby young, young under self, this was basically a long-winded video to say that I'm not joining AuthorTube. I may love to write and I may join in and yeah, I wanna eventually get published, that's the that's the dream. We're all just dreaming up in here. However, I'm not gonna join AuthorTube. I don't really got any advice to give. What would I even do? I'm not even good at BookTube. Like, you think I can, think I can do an AuthorTube? Look, I'm not gonna say writing isn't cool. Obviously, I like writing and I think it's great. And if you write, that's awesome. I think anybody, can write and they can do it and you do you with your author tube. 
you know, live your dreams. Be who you want to be. But I am, I can't do it. Look, I am not the person that you should go and get advice from at all. I may have an MLA book just sitting <laughs> on my desk. I may have a degree in writing, but I'm not the person to give advice to the internet on what you should and shouldn't do as a writer. I have my own opinions on what I think is good writing and what I don't care for. That's my mom. However, I don't think this qualifies me to be giving advice, and that's not what I want to do. And I'm very private about my writing, despite just embarrassing myself. Like, I don't really tell anybody what I write, what I'm doing, except for like my super close friends who are like, you need to write more. If I ever do have the opportunity to become an author, and that, yeah, I'll talk about my book. I'll talk about what I love about it. I'll do a lot of promotions on here. But you know what? I just, I'm not gonna do that author too. If you're feeling like you want to be a part of the Book of Boo gang, go ahead and click that subscribe button and ring that bell. Don't forget to leave me a like or a comment. Oh, if you want to comment something, tell me about what was one of your cringy ideas when you were around 14. Were you even writing when you were around 14? Now, that's all I got booked. I'll see you in the next video.